So with us in the studio is Ikelo Moshedeko, the West Africa Security and Risk Analyst. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's, it's a pleasure to be here show. with everybody. All right, let me come to our other guest, um, Honorable Yusuf Adamu. The presidency had released a statement back in the embattled Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Ali Issa Pantami, a missed calls for him to step down. The Chairman House Committee of Representatives, which you are, Honorable Yusuf, said the National Assembly and the DSS cannot possibly have all the information required to assist the public. He also said that no individual in the 180 million Nigerians were unable to remember that comment that was made or write a petition to the National Assembly for them to act or not act. Now, Honorable um, Yusuf, you made these statements in the House, and obviously many people have actually been concerned about that statement. So are you saying the fact that the DSS and the National Assembly could not detect that this minister had in his past, at some point in his past, encouraged or supported terrorism. And the fact that Nigerians, you, you said nobody in Nigeria could actually come up to object his engagement. Do you think that is enough for us to still retain this man in the cabinet of the national, uh, of, of, of the federal government? Well, uh, you are, you are, in your question, you are joining two issues that have no relationship whatsoever. I think the video, you, people watch the part they want to watch, or media decide to send the part they want to send. And I accept responsibility. I will repeat that again and again and again. It was a journalist that asked the question. First, I condemn Pantami in totality, and I still condemn him, and I don't see any reason why Pantami, whether in his teenage or whatever, would have made that comment as a representative of the people of this country. In the interview, it was a program that lasted for over an hour. I made my position very clear that I don't agree with that statement. And we shouldn't have a minister of the Federal Republic making such statement and presiding over the affairs of the people of this country. I made that statement. But again, the question was that National Assembly were culpable. I said no. You don't blame every blame. You don't throw it on the National Assembly. When we are wrong, we are wrong. Even if we don't want to accept we are wrong. But when we are right, we shouldn't be said we are right. I think this issue of Pantami should not disqualify our democracy. We practice democracy in Nigeria, and we copy a resemblance of American democracy. I am not saying the president is equally right to say I have forgiven him, but he has the right to either give the man prerogative of mercy or to sack the man. That is his own power. Before I allow the ladies to interrogate what you just said, let me let our guests say your initial thoughts on this issue of Pantami. Do you agree with those saying that he should step down based on what he said in his past and he has since apologized for? I do agree that he should step down because the thing is, it creates a ricochet effect. We already saw what happened with the attack on Gaydam. We've not had a situation where terrorists are spreading their information in, news, in, in paper, you know, by a, a bill, like putting it out there like this is what we want, this is what we want to do. It's been a while we've seen that. I think when they first started out uh, during the John, end of Jonathan's regime, they were doing that. But it's been a long time we've seen that. And the only reason they will do that is because there is something that has triggered that all over again. And so um, for, for the life of us, we might not like the situation we find ourselves. What is wrong with our people and integrity? Why can't you say, Yes, I, was, I wasn't a minister when I said these things, but I know this has a great effect on my people and how they feel towards me and how they feel towards what I'm doing as a minister. I hereby step down for, um, for there to be investigations, and if the government and the people see that I'm no more a part of that movement or that thought process, then I think the people can bring me back with their, okay, with mm. the clamor and say, oh, Oh, yeah, these are yeah. the things that I've been accused so the of. The honorable thing for you to do is to step down. Just step down. Do it. You don't need the president or the presidency to make that decision for you. You can do that on your own. What do you think the right thing should be based on the fact that the president has been accused of being nepotistic? And this is more like showing that the accusations are real. What do you think is the right thing for the president to have done now that it has been brought to the fore? Forget about whether he has repented or not. This was something that he said and he did not deny it. Uh, in my personal opinion, again, uh, nepotism 
it's it based on the way people understand it. I'm not here to defend Mr. President, but uh, I equally have my personal view about governance. Anybody that is being that is put as a president of this country, in one way or the other, people must accuse him of sentiment. People of, must accuse him of religiosity. People must accuse him of. So that is a consistent culture in some of hmm. our politics, particularly in Nigeria. But Pantami is what should be done as a parliament. Parliament has done its own, but people must equally understand how governors operate. It is not within the powers of the National Assembly to remove a minister. The president is have the constitutional right here either to remove Pantami or not to remove him based on the information available to them. That is absolutely the prerogative of the executive arm of government, not that of the parliament. A genuine way of solving this problem of insecurity as National Assembly are working day and night to say their mind, whether federal government like it or, or they do not like it, speaking for Nigerians regarding to how we can curtail these killings on daily basis to the barest minimum. Instead of exhausting our energy to take over the power of who have the right to appoint and have the right to right. remove a minister.